What is going on everyone? My name is Mackenzie. I'm here with LaFontaine Classics in Milford, Michigan. Uh, behind me, a 72 GMC K2500. This is a rare bird for a lot of reasons. Come in, I want to take you for a drive today, a close-up walk around of the truck, and of course a tour of that interior. This one's hooked up just right the way we like it. Kicking off at the front, GMC always had the reputation of professional grade and wanted to set themselves apart from uh, the other guy in the room, Chevrolet. We love them too, but these are just a little bit more special. And a real signature on this truck is this front end. You notice we got four headlights versus Chevy's two. Um, the same year Chevy pickup had a blank front end. This one has a GMC badging across the front, which looks awesome. And did I mention this is in my favorite color, dark olive with the white painted roof. Now right through here, we have our hood release. Smooth operation there. So hood hinge is working great. We have a gorgeous 350. Now this is a date correct 1972 350. And you notice she is dressed with all the right amenities. We got our power brake booster. We have a power steering pump down there. Looks like a chrome alternator new hoses, new fuel lines, clamps, all the good stuff. And even though this was a factory air truck, they wanted to update it just a little bit. So this has a vintage air kit. The goal of this restoration was to have a daily drivable classic with uh, a little bit more dependability, a little bit more modern going on. Uh, we've got that rest of the vintage air kit up here with the newer condenser. It's a sharp truck. And we have our battery kill switch on here in case you're not driving this one daily. You twist that battery shuts off and you can leave this thing alone for the winter and come back and all will be well. Show you this closing up. Very good. This paint has such a nice metallic to it. I dig that. Um, you come down the side of this truck and you see we got some beautiful, it's a 16 and a half inch uh, race line aluminum wheel with some Vortrack all-terrain tires. Those are actually a 2020 date code on those. They're in like new shape. I think they have just 100 miles on them. This truck got the stainless mirrors. So we have original glass all throughout. Very nice chrome on the door handles and the lock cylinders. And that stainless gas cap is a nice touch. Coming out back here, got some more meat. One of our exhaust tips, this is a three inch system all the way back. The bumpers, uh, the chrome looks new because these bumpers were replaced, both front and rear. And a lot of the times when you see these GMC trucks, they don't have the right tailgate on them. So these trucks got beat up and uh, they actually don't, they don't repop a GMC tailgate. So this is an original, has the letters punched in here. Really glad to see that. And I'll show you some smooth operation here. Now, everywhere you look in here, there's no signs of any rust or rust repair. Now, obviously, we have a bit of wear and tear. There's some minor dings and some scratches, but this is a, uh, a bed you can use and not be fearful of throwing something in here. If this was your daily driver pickup or a weekend cruiser, um, kind of nice to have. Very sharp paint, very straight bedside. I do notice some light little rock chips kind of the, the lower lower portion, kind of where those, those tires would be throwing things up. But no rust, could always be touched up and doesn't take away from what this truck is. Very smooth opening doors, dig that. Um, it did note too going over this, they've got new door latches, we've got new uh, door seals. Um, the list goes on. Now, really taking this truck up a notch, not just for sex appeal, but the comfort. These are these TMI bucket seats. I love these for a lot of reasons. I love that we've got a matching center console with cup holders, finally, after all these years. But what's really trick is these actually retain the factory shoulder belts so you can stay safe, do all that fun stuff. And not only uh, do you get the seat belts, but these seats give you an adjustable seat base and you also have an adjustable seat back. So really uh, 
kind of molds to whatever passenger you might be, tall, short, whatever. And right there, we have a GT Performer steering wheel, which matches the aesthetic really nicely. But that's actually fixed to the factory tilt column this truck was, was ordered with. So that can tell, or, uh, tilt up and down to get out of your way. And then just behind that, we've got our factory gauges. This has a speedometer boasting a 100 mile per hour top speed. Um, we've got our other auxiliary gauges in there, a fuel and oil pressure, um, coolant temp, and a voltmeter. And this also has an odometer showing 75,000 miles. Um, could it be original? There's no way for us to know. This truck is damn solid. It has all of its original glass. Still has the original spid tag in the glove box. There's a case to be made for sure. Um, coming further in, you know, there's a new dash pad on top of here in black, which looks lovely. We've kept the classic styling, but updated um, the creature comfort or the enjoyability with a retro sound radio. Gets you AM, FM, and an auxiliary hookup as well. And even with this modern uh, vintage air kit, it still utilizes the factory AC controls, which is cool. Keeps the right look in here. We got our transfer case controls there. And I'll show you our glove box here. Um, this is the original service part identification tag or SPID tag, if you will. Um, breaks down everything the truck was ordered with and what it was. Um, you see that white with dark olive exterior paint. This originally had an olive vinyl interior. But this is a custom sport trim, which is a couple notches up from the base model. And you notice with that, we even got a, a headliner in here, which is pretty fancy to have in the cab of your 70s pick -em up truck. Um, this one also has the sliding rear glass, a cargo lamp, um, as you see on the back side of the cab. Pretty trick stuff. Close this up. Show you guys how these doors close up. And here's a look at that cargo lamp out back. Lights up your goodies. I don't know if we mentioned too. They've uh, tried to preserve this thing. We've got the, the diamond plate bed rail caps. You could throw stuff in here. You can use this bed. And it's not in here right now, but I've got about a 3 8 thick rubber mat that is cut to fit just for this, this long box here. Pretty sweet stuff. We'll fire it up and go for a cruise. Out of the shop, blinker on, we're turning left. Blinker cancels on its own, which is nice, and it shifted quite seamlessly. Do do do, work that power steering a little bit. Smooth like butter, even in this big old truck. Now we're coming to a stop sign here. Brake pedal feels awesome. There's no pulsating in this pedal. It's very smooth. We're getting thumbs up. Um, the rotors are in great shape. The rear drums don't need to be turned. It's essentially what I'm getting at by saying the pedal feels very smooth. Um, enough of me blabbering. Those headers. Boy, they do a small black justice. This thing sounds great. Speaking of sounding great, see if this retro sound is working right. Yeah, yeah. You don't gotta do anything to this truck. Um, you can hook up your aux, have your fun. I know uh, we recently just put a new set of wiper blades on it, um, so everything is good there. It's got a, a brand new mirror right here. It holds firm and doesn't bounce around. Blinker works this way too. Oh my goodness, what do you know? Man, this thing rolls over the bumps really nicely. And I, 
I swear, I'm not making this up. I've driven a lot of these old trucks. And uh, your 2500s, sometimes they can be a little bit of a brick. But I think we got something good going on with these shocks, these tires, and uh, the way this truck was redone. I bet you these TMI seats got a lot to do with this thing being so damn smooth too. That was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for tuning in with us today. I'm very impressed with the three quarter ton GMC K2500. Uh, if you want to know anything more about this truck, this is ticking your fancy. I dig it. Um, the number to check us out at, it's going to be 248-714-2110. Dial it up at any time. We'd be happy to help tell you more about the truck, the process, how we can ship it to you, finance and you name it. And uh, down in the description of this video, I'll put our, our contact, our email, but I'm gonna put a link to our website. You click it, it'll take you right to the listing of this truck, show you 100 plus pictures, show you the underside, give you a breakdown of all the parts and the goodies. You know, check that out and if you like this, check out the rest of our site, the rest of our videos, like and subscribe. My treat, my name's Mackenzie. I'll see you guys in the next one.